Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Today, very happy because you, I've changed things again. Uh, every time I push one to change to scenario like this, see, my head's just in it now. Whereas before, it was like so. Anywho, hello. I'm very happy because I've been a fan of Jean-Claude Van Damme's since like I started getting into martial arts when I was a kid. Um, I think the first film I ever owned on VHS was AWOL. And that wasn't when I was of legal age. But anyway, 88 films have released um, two of their films, two of his films. Not very well-known ones, or ones well-known for being not so liked, but um, I keep scratching, sorry, I've got a bit of an itch. They've set out to release a, or they've announced, I should say, English NOS, um, five titles. They announced Street Fighter, Knock Off, Replicant, Legionnaire, and... Um, Universal Soldier 2 The Return. So, not very well-known titles, as in big, some of his best titles, but I really enjoy his work. I've always enjoyed his work. I think he's a fantastic actor. So, I pre-ordered instantly. And today, Amazon came through. We have the first of them. Look at that, man. Look at that. Shiny. Shiny. I've already taken the cellophane off of it because these... Ooh, I didn't notice that. On the back tells you limited edition number it is. Sorry, because of the shininess, it's hard to focus. Uh, my Street Fighter is 2,852 of 3,000. That's a nice addition, having it numbered. Right. Ooh, I've got a low one for Replicant. Replicant, as you can see, very shiny. And my limited edition number is 834 of 3,000. Now, I've never seen Replicant. I own it on DVD, but I got it pre-owned on DVD for like 50p from the fight. Oh, I can't remember what the label is. Hold on, be right back. Here we go. Sorry. Just around the corner where I bent around. I mean, hopefully you didn't see anything too gross. Um, fight Factory. They really, it's like, um, they have their own, they had their own little, like, the way they had everything set up, like, orange banner all around, and uh, Fight Factory, a big circle on the top. I have that on a very mucky DVD. I never got around to watching it. I am so going to be watching this in the next day or so. And, of course, the much maligned, because game purists... Street Fighter. I am watching this tonight. It's going in tonight. I don't care what anyone says. It's going above Ride Along 2, which was my next watch for tonight. But yeah, I took the cellophane off. Can you believe this only was a, this is a rated a 12? Here's a, hey, there's you guys, camera. <laughs> it's a rated a 12. But yes. I'm going to open this and show you all the goodies you get inside. Right, so wrapper comes off. Uh, right, I'll put the thing over there. Wow. I am extremely excited to get these. Very excited. My Jean-Claude Van Damme collection is one of the collections that I took out of the cases and put into sleeves. And it's currently with my Denzel Washington collection in an old bread bin so the replicant dvd is going to be finding itself back in its case 
and donated to my local RSPCA and I will be putting this with my 88 films collection which you can see just here. I have taken my other Blu-rays, my films, Blu-rays, the Jackie Chan ones, oops, out of their cellophane wrapper because I intend to watch them. I don't buy these things to sell them on. Not on your Nelly. Let's... Right. Ooh, hello. So this is what it looks like when you first open it. You've got the Blu-ray, and then you've got this, which is going to be the poster. And as everyone knows me, I don't open posters. Because I don't want to damage the integrity of the job. I'm going to. This is a this is a special set, so I'm going to. Right. Ooh. Right, there we go. Try and keep its integrity intact. Here we go. Try and not break too much of it. Here we go. I don't know if how well you can hear me back here, but this is what the poster looks like. Uh, essentially, it looks like the front cover of the DVD. Try and remember how. There we go. And there we go. Nice and intact. Ready to be put back. And of course, as with some of the limited editions, you get a little pack of art cards or poster cards. Now take this off very carefully because I can put it back exactly the same way later without fear of damage. Here we go. Take the little band off. I'll be putting this right back on later. So you're seeing the I'm seeing these for the first time with you guys. So that's Chun Li and Cammy, if I remember rightly. I'm not a big Street Fighter. It's the game fan. I mean, I do like the game, but I'm not like hardcore into the game. Right. Ah, it's Guile. Mr. Van Dam himself. And another good shot of Guile. This is this is more of an action shot. When he's this, I think this is when he's fighting M Bison, Raul Julia. It's that. And there again is promo shot of Cami and Guile, Kylie and Jean Claude, and it's back to them. So yeah, fantastic art cards. I love the little edition of these. Again, I'm going to put very carefully the slip over the top if I can there we go got it back over a little bit of work try and be careful with when you, if you're like me and you don't want to peel this bit open, just keep it like this. Be very careful as you're working it up, as you work it up from where it is. Up. Be very careful. And um, yeah, it, it, it's quite simple to put back on afterwards. There's that. There is, as I said, the Blu-ray. Oh, you don't really see it very well. This is the Blu-ray. Another fancy shot of Van Damme. And then inside, we've got an action shot of Guile and M. Bison. F forgive the reflections. I have to worry about zombies. There you go, see? You can just see the reflection of my... Zombie Outbreak poster, which I keep up all the time because it's Halloween all the time. Anyway, yes. Um, 
That's fantastic. Try and get this back without touching the desk, bottom of the desk. I hate touching the bottom of the desks. Right, put this back in. Put the art cards back in. And put the poster back in. There we go. Um, as for reading out the extras and stuff on this, I, as people know me by now, I struggle with reading aloud. So what I would recommend you do, because there's still some of these available, last I checked, they were running out. So if you go to Amazon, 88 Films website itself, wherever you get your pre-orders from, go and have a look because the they fair play to 88, they really did the effort for this. Yes, again, there are people that don't like Street Fighter, a lot of Street Fighter purists. And when I say Street Fighter purists, I mean like Resident Evil film, the Resident Evil, everyone who loves, and I mean people, die hard Resident Evil fans for the game, cannot stand the Paul W. I think Paul W. Anderson? I think it's Paul W. Anderson. They can't stand the Mia Jovovich Resident Evil films. They're good movies. My favourite is the second one. But again, because purists. I'm not a purist. I'll enjoy a thing for what it is. And this is a really good movie. It's cheesy action fun. And yes, it, you can't really say much about tying it to Street Fighter other than it being the characters and some of the lore. But again, it's a loose connect it's a loose they're loose connections it's very fun and if you're not if you're going to watch this for anything watch it for Raul Julia's performance because how he performs as M. Bison is just out of this world and of course Van Damme is Van Damme he's he's who he is Kylie plays a great cami and I can never remember Chun Li's actress so but anyway that was that one Next, we have Replicant. Le Put that up there. The art. Well, I say the art. The um, way they did these slip covers was fantastic. Granted, it is the same as the um, case itself. But the shininess of it compared to the uh, Jackie Chan ones. Because the Jackie Chan ones aren't, you know, like all glossy and shiny. I think glossy is the term. I think glossy is the term. It's more matte finish. Ooh. Right, sorry. I opened it up without you guys. I apologize. Anyway. No, that's this way. Here we go. That's my OCD, sorry. There we go. That's the Blu-ray and the poster. This one doesn't have art cards. This particular one has a book. Which, again, I'm still happy with. You know, I'm go I'm doing the extra mile for you folks today. I'm opening the posters. How lucky do you feel? <laughs> right. I'm doing it here first, mostly, because... I don't want to accidentally tear anything. Right, here we go. This is the poster. Which is essentially the cover. But I don't care. It looks fantastic. I swear, once you've opened one or two, they become easier to open. Um, the book... It says reversible sleeve too. I wonder, thinking about it, they both have reversible sleeves. I didn't show you the reversible the other one, but I'm sure you can find, look it up online. Let's see. We have the an interview with screenwriter Lawrence Riggins, the progenitor. I keep knocking my mic. 
It's basically a question. Oh, that looks good. Again, this is all new to me, so I've never seen this film. So my first look at this film is going to be in Blu-ray goodness. All the Blu-ray goodness. Mm, Michael Rooker. Didn't know he was in it. Uh, a chinwag with camera operator Ross Clarkson, the shooter. Another interview basically with someone else who was involved. Oh, blind me. <laughs> Look at him there. But hey, yeah, this is the alternate front cover for Replicant. I remember I saw this behind the... No, that's right. I now remember the Street Fighter 1 doesn't have alternate cover because I showed you the inside, didn't I? Memory span of a goldfish. <laughs> oh, see, I'm too excited. I'm too excited. I've got I've got something that I re I'm really wanting. And even though I did pre-order it, these were a surprise gift from my wife because she gave me the money towards paying for it. So... Aren't I a lucky sod? And I know you watch these videos, honey. Thank you. Right. Put that there. But yeah, here's the alternate artwork. As you can see. It's the same back. Same back. It's just a different front. See? Front front and back back same back right i know most people prefer the original artwork sorry i tend to look there because that's where my face is a lot of people prefer the original artwork i like commissioned artwork i think new artwork as long as it looks unique and attractive, you know, not all over the place. Like, for instance, the Friday the 13th by Shout Factory or Scream Factory. That new Friday the 13th set, oh, did it have issues. Um, quality control from Scream must be terrible. But sorry, I'm not going to get into a rant video about that. Um, but the box itself, the hard box... The amount of Jasons they just splat right on the back of it. It it's too in, too much informational overload. You can't appreciate what's there. But yes, anyway, that is the replicant. Again, first time watch for me. This will be considering I didn't watch my bad. DVD, but that again, my replicant DVD will be finding a case and will be donated. Both of these come with the name on the side. Let's see. You have to because they're glossy, you'll have to forgive. As you see, they got a picture there. It also is the year they came out. Which is 94 and 2001. Street Fighters 1994. Uh, hey, it actually focused. Ooh, I was lucky for a second. No, it's gone. But yeah. Both of these. Proud, proud parts of my collection. My 88 Films collection. And the start of my Van Damme Blu-rays from 88 Films. The limited edition ones. They're not repressing these as well. So the last thing I will say about these. There's going to be no standard edition repress. So if you do want them. This is the only way you're going to get them. The limited edition. You get them from 88 Films website. You get it from Amazon. Wherever you get your pre-orders from. I don't know. I, they're the only two places I know off by heart where they're actually up. So if you go and look. This is the only way you'll get these two, th these and the other Van Damme films. But I'm well happy. Well happy with these. 
They put so much effort into them, 88 films. Absolutely fantastic. If you guys, someone from 88 films ever gets around to watching this video, know there are people out there that appreciate you. I'm not great with descriptions. I'm not great with all that stuff, but I the, the I was so happy when I saw these coming out. I just instantly hit pre-order. Thank you. And to the rest of you. Now that's out of the way. Thank you very, very much for watching. And as always, remember, smile. It's late in the day, unless you're American or some, I don't know, anywhere else that's forward in time from the UK. So if it's daylight for you, just remember to smile. Give yourself a big smile in the mirror. Cheesier the better. Thank you for liking, subscribing. Remember, like it if you liked it. Don't if you didn't. And leave a comment what your favourite Van Damme film is. If it's not a film, I know he did a short series called... Um, oh, shit, what was it called? It's like... Oh, I can't remember the name of it now. It's like Van Damme Johnson... Uh, someone correct me in the comments, <laughs> but, um, yeah, whatever your favourite Van Damme film is, or your favourite scene from a Van Damme film, I will say my favourite scene is most definitely the dance scene from Kickboxer, most definitely, he regularly does that as well on, um, lives he does live live streams i think it's through facebook i'm not quite sure but yeah some he, he'll just randomly be on um they're do, doing his like <laughs> uh anyway that seems like a good point to end the video you guys take it easy thank you very much for liking subscribing uh leave a comment and remember 88 films are not repressing these so any of their jean claude van damme films they've got up if they're still up for pre-order and you want them, now's the time. You guys take it easy. See you soon.